Hi there, welcome back. So the intent of this discussion is to uh, basically demonstrate how to uh, create users, assign them roles through SQL. So over here, I am trying to create another user uh, with role account admin, as you can say, and I'm setting a default password initially, and I'm enforcing the policy to change that password as and when the user logs in for the very first time. Right, so I'll say create, I'll run this command. I'll say okay. That's it. It says user second admin successfully created, and I'll grant this role to this user second admin. Okay. So the grant has been successfully executed, right? Now, just to verify whether the user is created, we can go to the account option. And uh, since we are logged in as account admin, so I can check the under users tab, there is a entry for second admin, right? And if I click on it, I see the default role is account admin and I have the ability to disable the user from here. I can reset the password. I can drop the user as well from the UI, right? Well, there are options to do it through SQL also, as we can see over here, there's this command drop user second admin that will drop the user, right? So let's create some more users uh, having sysadmin and security admin privileges. So I'll say, okay, sysadmin and I'll say sysadmin as a user, I'll keep rest of the things the same and I'll grant this whole of sysadmin to my user sysadmin, right? And I'll, I'll just say create the user sysadmin with password and default role as sysadmin. So I'll just quickly run this is and another is the grant on the role sysadmin which we are giving to the user, okay? And then let's create one more user with the privileges as security admin okay so we have security admin and i'll just run one grant statement after this so i'll say grant role security admin to the user security admin so i'll first run the create user command as you can see and after the successfully completion of this uh, command I'll run the grant that's it so now in all we created three users which we can verify from our account and user tab so let's see second admin is there right then we have uh, security admin then we have sysadmin right and you know, we can see the default roles, right? We can see, yeah. So, so this was brief about um, the custom uh, users that I created. And well, uh, we can try logging in uh, with one of the users. Uh, let's log in with the uh, second admin. So I'll just uh, copy this name from here and I'll just log out. Uh, before I log out, I let me recollect. Okay, this is the password, which I will try to log in. So I'll do a log out. And now I'll wait for the login screen to appear. And I will log in with the second admin user. Okay, so I'm entering the name. And the password was pass at the rate one, two, three. I'll do a sign in. Oh yeah. So this is what I meant when I was enforcing must change password policy. So I'm giving a new password. Okay. And I'll say submit and that's it. It will take me to the snowflake UI. So let's wait for some moment. Yep. So here we have the ui and as you can see second admin with the role account admin and that's all guys thank you